Hello everybody, happy Thursday, I'm Brent O'Leary. And I'm Cindy Goss, and we're finally at the end of this short week. Your KNET News starts now. now. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This month, Stuco will be selling you to bracelets, which will go directly towards funding elders edu Elber's education. <laughs> Elber is making bracelets to make money to pay for his education, and there will be $7 at lunch, so make sure to check it out. The Diversity Club will be hosting a debate between Liberty and Liberty North on February 20th. Our topics are NCAA athletes getting paid to play, DACA, and free college, so make sure to come on out. Congratulations to Janie Howard, our Teacher of the Year for 2018. Ted Maxwell for Support Staff Member of the Year. Make sure to check out his SoundCloud, Lil Max Bean, space in between each word. Make sure check to give him out. a follow, you won't regret it. That's all we have for announcements, let's go to sports. Welcome back to North Nation Sports. I'm Hayden Paulson, and I have your sports announcements for today. And later, Abby Bray has a trivia game with Zach and Nick, so let's get started. The girls' swim and dive team, along with the boys' wrestling, are headed to compete for state. So good luck to everyone competing. We'll know you do great. The boys' basketball team played Raytown on Tuesday and were able to come out with a win with a score of 50-39, to putting them with a record of 13-8. and Great job, boys. With the Winter Olympics in full swing, it's hard not to pay attention to them. Abby, what do you think? I totally agree, Hayden. The competition is definitely getting hot, so it will be really interesting to see what's to come. So I'm here with Zach and Nick, and we're going to test hey. their knowledge of the Winter Olympics. Here's how the game works. I will ask a question, and the first one to answer it correctly gets to credit. If neither one of you answers it right, then we skip to the next question. The player with the most qu questions answered correctly when the time expires wins the game. Got it? Got yep. it. Okay. Excited. First question. Same. What year did the Winter Olympics start? 1910. No. I was going to say 1908. Nope, it was 1924. Dang Question it. number two. How many gold medals has the U.S. won all time? 99. No. <laughs> close. That's really, really close. Uh, 95? No, it was 100 gold medals, oh actually. Gosh, this is Dang so much harder than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Question number three. When was the last time the U.S. hockey team won gold? 1979. Nope. <laughs> I know this one because they made a movie about it, Miracle on Ice, so 1980. That is correct. So, Zach, you win because that's all the time we've got. Thank you. So, that's great job, row. guys. Job. Um, that's all the news we've got for you today in yeah. sports, so we'll head Good it job. back up to Sydney and Brent. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Wow, that was so funny, Nick. Thanks for always being a pro. Until Tuesday, we'll catch, catch you on, on the, the north, north side. side.